Hello, hello, and welcome to Lawrence Plays for a brand new series. Now that we've finished the multiplayer run through of Factorio Industrial Revolution, we thought we'd start off with more or less the same group of people, plus a couple of extra ones, and now we're playing um, Minecraft Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles, which is a mod pack for Minecraft that basically adds in an enormous amount of extra content. It's like the um, the developer went off, found all of the available mods for Minecraft, and then combined them all together in one. So we've got things like beehives that we can do goodness knows what with. We can make bees from them, I guess. We've got um, various things like, we've got defences like these spiky things. I don't know if they're in vanilla Minecraft or not. We've got a million types of rock in these mountains. We've got some sort of floating islands. We've seen a couple of ships out in the, sitting out in, in harbours. There's, and we've got an enormous quantity of different recipes that we can make. So, in order to help us not drown too much in the sheer quantity of recipes that are available, I mean, look, if, if, look, if I go in here and have a look at this um, crafting table over here, you can see that there's 500 pages of, of things that can be made. And according to the, I think on the startup, it tells you there's something like 20,000 different recipes for stuff. Now, part of that is because if you wanted to make a, um, a stone axe, for example, uh, like a stone or a stone pickaxe, then there's lots of different recipes for different colours of stone, different colours of stick. So there's lots of different, there's lots of little variety, little sort of tweaks in there that are basically the same recipe, but you can use any stick or any cobblestone to make it. So that 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 takes down the number a little bit, but there's still an enormous quantity of different things you can make. I mean, these are all the different types of stone axe. If we want, if we just look at axes in general, there's. 11 pages of different axes so some of them some of them are pickaxes of special types some of them are battle axes wood axes and so on there's just a massive massive quantity of different recipes available in the game and unlike in factorio in minecraft you don't really unlock things over time um all of the recipes are available if i if i had um if I had an energetic infuser, whatever that is, no, no how, do, how do you actually make these? I, 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 I don't understand any of this stuff. Let's, let's look for something slightly simpler recipe if we can. Okay, here we go. I don't know what was that. A blood infused wooden pickaxe. So if I had some blood infused wooden plank, planks, a stick, and an apprentice blood orb, or a blood orb of some type, then I could, I could perfectly well make this um, blood infused wooden axe. I. Um, there's no locking of stuff behind behind research. However, there is a sort of there's, it's locked behind me not having any of the stuff that I need to make it. So, unlike Factorio, where you, you're slowly given recipes over time as you progress through the game because you, you unlock them through doing research, in Minecraft you just have everything up front, which is a little bit overwhelming. And so to help with that, the mod pack comes with a quest book. So I can have a look in the quests here. And go to quest lines, zero, right. And... This is how far we've got so far. So the green ones are ones that we've done. Blue ones are ones that we've done, but I haven't actually claimed the rewards for yet. Red ones are ones that we could, I could do now if I wanted to, um, because I've unlocked all of the prereqs for them. So, for example, to do copper leggings, you have to do copper chest plate first. To do cotton seeds, you have to have, you have to have um, done the needle needle quest. So these are ones that are available to do, and that's why the lines are flashing to draw my attention to them. Um, and then the grey ones like these are ones that we haven't done yet. And I presume once we get to the end of, once we start doing these end quests over here, and then it'll link over to this one, and we'll unlock all these different tiers of all the various different other things. So, kitchen workshop. Um, I don't know how to get to that from here. Um, I could look at um, kitchen workshop, for example. Except I can't because we haven't unlocked it yet. Okay. Um, no, I don't know how the system works. Uh, but anyway, as, yeah, as you as you progress through doing doing more and more things, you unlock more and more recipe, more and more um, more and more quest lines, and so the, and the, and so the idea is that we're going to we're going to have each of us is going to sort of concentrate on a different area. The first stream was a bit frantic because it starts off with incredibly easy quest lines, so incredibly easy quest. So for this one, you have to take your axe that you spawn with, and you have to go and chop down a tree and then make some sticks out of it, and that takes about. 20 seconds to do so that so someone did that very very quickly and then after that you have to build a crafting station a wooden pickaxe and wooden shovel and again that's incredibly quick so it was a bit it was a bit hectic all we were unlocking quests very very quickly but then eventually we started to get on slightly harder ones like making a clay chest plate is not 
that difficult, but it requires you to go off and find some clay and then fire it and so on. Um, if we look at clay, clay chest plates, you need to make it from clay plates, and you make a clay plate, clay plate by making an unfired clay plate and putting it in a furnace. You make an unfired clay plate by putting four pieces of clay together, and you get clay by going off and finding it somewhere in the world, and that's the hard part. Clay was clay was surprisingly difficult to find, um, which was interesting. And so then we, you progress through all of those, and then you've got things like over here we're making silicon. So we've made some silicon um, for goodness knows what. I don't know what we're going to do with this later. But we, one of the things we had to do was work through and make that. And you need a handsaw to cut the silicon, so presumably one of the prereqs for that is, yes, here we go, handsaw. So you've got to do that quest and make, make a handsaw before you can then go on and do this one to make, make the silicon. And so there's lots and lots of things here. It's most, And I think I've had a bit of a look around in sort of single player, running around on my own, trying to do some of this stuff myself rather than to get a, get a handle on what everyone else has been doing. And so it gives me a, it gives me a bit of a feel for what's, what's going on in the, in, the, um, in, in the game. Now, I haven't played Minecraft very much for a very long time, and I've not really played modded Minecraft at all. So this is all very, very new to me, and I'm... Um, I'm trying quite hard not to drown in the uh, in the complexities of it. And because I'm the one making the video, or one of the ones making the videos, it's fairly important for me to be at least reasonably up to speed on everything that's going on. <clears throat> so we've been doing a few extra little bits and pieces as well. So along here, as you can see, we've got this uh, we've got this fence up. So we've fenced off a large chunk of, of, of land here just to, to make it safe, keep the mobs out, and then we've, we've lit the whole area with torches as well. So, so no enemies are going to spawn in this area. And I put down these spikes on the outside as well, which are um, supposed, to, supposed to hurt the enemies that are trying to get in. But it turns out that if you put the spikes too close to the fence, then they tend to bounce the enemies up in the air when they hurt them, and the enemies get over the fence that way, which is a bit silly. But we've discovered that now and moved it back. I think what I would like to do... Um, in the future is have a trench running along down the outside and then we can have a row of the um, spikes along there for the for the mobs to fall onto um, without without it ending up causing uh, causing them to get get into the base when they're not supposed to. <clears throat> um, Peter's been building up a farm so much as with um, with Industrial Revolution we've got different people have been doing different things so Pete set up a farm here this is supposed to give us a food supply there's clearly lots and lots of different um, plants growing here I don't know which ones are going to be the tastiest or give us the most sort of food per square or per time or whatever but they um yeah they're, they're working quite well with that I've been putting a bit of time into flattening this area out a bit um, I didn't get enormously far with it because just flattening ground is a fairly time-consuming process, especially when you're only using stone or copper tools. But we're, we're, we're making making progress gradually. Um, it's getting dark, so I'm going to nip inside and sleep so that I don't get random mobs spawning all over the place and scaring me. Um, <clears throat> So yes, we, we're we're making we're making some progress with the with the mod pack, um, but we just at the moment I'm still sort of trying to learn my learn my way around it. <clears throat> Inside we've got an area here where we've got all of these um, crates uh, chests rather for holding things. So we've got one a chest here that's full of full of various types of um, metal and apparently chocolate chocolate comes in ingots as well. It, it seems uh, what's that Inferium? Okay, and then we've got another one that's storing. I think that must be miscellaneous. We've got trees and plants and stuff in here we've got blocks of earth and stone and whatnot in here and um, then more wood and earth and things in these drawers over here so again we're storing we, we're, we're, we're building up massive quantities of stuff and then just trying and then just finding places to store it there's some sort of bonsai experiment going on over here which I think is an attempt to grow trees in a slightly uh, it ought to grow to grow wood in a in a sort of an auto, more automated and reproducible way although I have to admit I'm not 100% sure how it works so I'm going to leave that alone for now out the back of the um, of the sort of the little hut place, we've got um, a possible mining area here, I guess. Um, there's oh dear, there's a creeper. Um, <laughs> Fortunately, we've got the um, the area around our house protected, so it doesn't get massive. We don't get massive holes blown in it, which is. Oh. Um, and now we just and I'm going to run away from that skeleton because I'm not very good at combat, and I, I don't think I've even got a sword with me, which is probably a bit which is a bit of a mistake. But over there, as you might have seen before I uh, bravely ran away away, there is a, um, a large cave going down into the ground. And that's, that's sort of our um, starting point for, uh, for mining from, um, I think. I, I don't know. Personally, I haven't done very much mining. I think Mike's been mostly doing that one. But down there, we, you can get down into the bowels of the earth and do a bit of spelunking and see what you can find. We did have a massive troll standing around up there, but I think someone's managed to kill it. So that's, um, that's probably okay. <laughs> So I'm not sure what else, what, what more to what more to say about this. We've um, we've made a we've made a good start on the quest the quest lines as you can as you can 
No. As you can see from here, there we go, uh, we've got quite a lot of them done, um, but it's, we've basically gone through and just blasted through all of the easy ones as I was saying earlier. So I'm expecting things to get quite a lot more complicated from here on out. We're going to, we, we at the moment we just have this sort of stone shack built into the side of a mountain, which is kind of ugly and kind of... It's sort of functional, but it's not it's not great. So I think one of the plans for the next stream is going to be for some people to go out and find an area and flatten it out a bit and then maybe build a slightly nicer house for us to, to build everything inside and, and around. Maybe maybe we'll start from the, the area we've sort of already claimed and consider this to be a sort of the consider this to be the back garden and then have a house or a village or something start up in this area out here. Because if we have a look on the map, we've got We've got quite a large area explored. We've got a love. This this is the area we've claimed. As you can see by this, the nice straight lines of the wall around it. So we could potentially do something with this area and use this as a sort of a, as a home. And it'd be quite nice. You can have some. We could have some docks over here for um, going out into the water. And we've got forests nearby as well. And we've got mountains up behind. So it's it's, it's sort of a reasonably interesting area. There's a decent amount going on here. So I think this is going to be the, the end of the episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, we will be back on Thursday to play some more of this. So do come along to the stream and we'll um, and you can see what we're getting up to as we as we do it and uh, how the expansion is going. And we'll all try and sort of work out what, what which bits of the um, of the mod pack we each want to specialize in. Like maybe somebody's going to work on smelting, somebody could work on magic, somebody could work on bees or food or power or but whatever we whatever we feel is 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 the necessary next step for the uh, for the for the game. So there's lots of lots of potential in there, lots of different things to play around with. I'm carrying I'm still doing the um, space exploration streams on Tuesdays. Don't worry about that. They they they're, they're going to be carrying on for the foreseeable future because there's still quite a lot of that game left to go. So um, yeah, please do come along and join me for that. It's um, that's me on my own. So I spend tend to spend a bit more time talking to chat. Although I'm playing around with ideas of ways to um, spend more time. Uh, talk, talking to talking to the viewers when we're playing uh, Minecraft rather than just because there's a bit of a risk when you're playing with a, a large group you spend all of your time either talking to or listening to or waiting for other people to talk rather than talking to the people who you're streaming for so I kind of want to get away from that and get a bit more of a sort of an even um, and get a bit better at a bit better at talking to the people who've come along to well to watch me play and hear me talk I suppose so I'll try I'll try and be a bit better about that um, whilst also trying not to ignore other people too much. I've got a few ideas for that though, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm still doing the GTA videos on Sundays as well. They're um, coming out every, every week and uh, we've got, I've, got, I've got plenty of backlog on of those two of, of video that needs to be made. So uh, those are going to carry on going for quite a long time yet. And there's a few in uh, real life ones popping up here and there as well. So uh, I, I, need, I still need to finish off or fin a video of finishing off that um, spice rack I started a couple of weeks ago. So um, yeah, please come along and watch all of those when they when they launch, and I'll uh, I'll see you in those. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>